Notably, one of the most recognized faces on local television, Masoja Msiza, has made a name for himself by being one of the big players of theater and television. Over the years, he's built an illustrious career for himself, spanning over decades. He is not only an actor, but uh, is also known as a poet. He started his career as a poet out at the Windebrow Theater in Hillbrow and has published many anthologies, including The Voice of Hope and Avalon. He now joins us in studio to tell us more about himself and his career. So I want to thank you for coming. Thank you, Jehovah. <laughs> let's thank you for having me. You're most welcome. Yes. Let's talk about your journey. It's been quite a long time since you've been in this industry. You've yes. been involved in so many projects. Yeah. You've played so many characters. You've made a great contribution to the arts in South Africa. Sure. Let's talk about the journey and what it's been like for yourself. Oh, well, it's... Uh, I all give... Glory to God, you know, it's the grace of God that he sustained me all along. Mm. I started when I was young, from the age of 10, at school. And I was in the industry as, as, as a singer. And then I fell down again and then came back. But yeah, the way I feel, I feel that, yeah, my journey is something that people had to know about. I'm sharing it with other people. That's why I've started a company called Ignite the Mind Academy. I want other people to share my life story and share the experiences as well as help them to address the so social ills mm. as I'm doing now with books as well as CDs, stage plays. A lot is still coming. Mm. So right for, for now, we can talk about this city, Time <laughs> to Rhyme. And I will talk to you about uh, Time to Rhyme. Yeah, I want to talk you. about the entertainment <clears throat> industry and how ruthless it can be. It's yeah. not often that we see people have sustainable careers. Yes. And it's not often that we see that when people fall down that they're able to get back up on their feet again. Mm -hmm. What has kept you in this business for as long as you have? Oh, well, uh, I was blessed to have mentors. To start with... In poetry, uh, Dr. Don Matera, Mr. Mzwakembuli, uh, I'm always in touch with them, showing me the ropes. And in acting, my mentor passed away, uh, the late Sam Williams, Supratak. Yes. And in music, there was Utaini, the, the, the yes. big one. Yes. Yeah, so those people, I, I was always having them. And what sustains you, to, keeps you alive in the industry, is for you to always workshop yourself. And when you workshop yourself, mm -hmm. you, work, you do stuff with other people. When you share, you don't fizzle out. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you always become relevant. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I move from theater to to film from film to the stage in other words when i phrase that i say i cut a part with metaphors onto the page and carambole with parables onto the stage hmm. Turn topsy tape you from the eyeball to the eardrum from the eardrum to the heartbeat so it keeps me relevant <laughs> And also, if you're a poet, poetry keeps you alive. Yes, yeah. and I want to talk about poetry and yeah, sure. how it's not often, you know, received that well in South Africa. You, you see it sporadically, but it's yes. not something that tends to be overly celebrated. What are your yeah. thoughts on that? Yeah, sure. I've met, I've traveled a lot extensively, Asia, UK, US. And when I meet up with people uh, from those areas, I find that there are structures for them. Mm -hmm. Poetry is treated as a profession mm -hmm. in those countries. And most especially here at home, we used to have poetry sessions where we have our training grounds. And uh, we have homes where we start poetry and we have cultures. Like me, for example, Kulisogam Caesar, Nassin Nabel. And in the Ndebele culture, when you go to the mountain, it's always poetry. Mm -hmm. So to us, it's always like relevant. But in terms of the industry of poetry, a, a lot is still to be done. Mm -hmm. That is why we are standing up and say, we cannot leave all the job to our grades, about Dr. Don Matera, Abumzo Kimbuli, yes. and others. We have to stand up and say, look, we are poets. Let us take that stand and say, okay, fine. What is it that we can do together? Because there's strength in numbers. Yes. That is why I've stood up and said, I'm coming out, I want to help other people. You've got projects that are happening at the moment. Yeah, sure. Tell us about that. Well, some of them, I'll keep them a secret. Yes. But what I'm doing <laughs> right now, uh, what is to follow after this album, the videos, and after the videos is um, stage play. Let's talk about this album. Who have you worked with? And, uh, you know, what describe the I'd sound? Yeah, I'd love to, to start us. with Uluaz. It yes. was in Gomezulu. Mm. He's very, very, 
you know, enchanting that guy. Yeah. And uh, I've worked with Figi Lomo. She's very known, gospel yes. singer. I've worked with one of the guys from The Legacy. Yes. Which I've learned him yes. And I've worked with a guy called Ntombe Mnyama. Ntombe Mnyama is a protege of Umfazo Mnyama. Mm. For me to have different forms of music so that it appeals to all the people yes. of all ages and all races. And uh, even the languages I'm using in this album, I'm mixing languages. Mm. Yes. You also have a book in the works. Yes. Tell us about that. The book or is, is it one of the soon. projects you want yeah, to keep yeah, as a secret? Yeah. But the <laughs> book now. I can talk about. The yes, book. please go because ahead. Because it's ready. It's, it's ready for release. Go ahead. Yeah, for, for publishing. And everything that I'm doing is self-publishing. You know, I've learned that if you try to knock on doors and mm. people are not open, opening those doors, you have to create your own door, yeah. break the wall. Yeah. And what I'm doing is, is I've, from Ignite the Mind Academy, I've written stuff that will help people. To start with this one, the book that is coming is La Shona. I'm thinking that people have lost a lot of talent, have lost a lot of uh, material. In terms of people who are dying in the mines, mm. people who die in the industries, people who die all over, I say, La Shona. Mm. It darkness descending in broad daylight. Mm. I start by paying homage to them first through mm. poetry, uh, prose, and storytelling. Mm. And people think about uh, poetry only, but there is prose, there's storytelling. So these are the forms of art that are, I'm exposing. It's there in the album, but it's there in the book as well. Oh, Masoja, yeah. thank you so much. We could speak the whole day. Thank you so much for your great contribution to yeah, the arts you're very industry. Welcome. I'm saying <laughs> thank you, Jehovah. Do come yeah. back again and we can talk about your book. Thank you. <laughs> that was renowned actor and poet Masoja Masiza talking to us about navigating his career in television as well as a poet. We're going to take a